The other week, as I was moving around storage bins, I came across a bin that contained a bunch of old articulating lamps that I no longer needed. While looking at the lamps, it occurred to me that I always found the mechanics of how they move to be interesting. How the top part of the arm with the light is always able to maintain its position relative to my desk, while the bottom part is able to move back and forth. So I took one out and started to inspect it. I noticed that the bracket that holds the light and the arm together has a hole pattern in the shape of a triangle. Looking at the other brackets, I noticed that the hole pattern was not in the shape of a triangle. I thought, how odd. But then it occurred to me that I'm looking at two triangles that are just offset. This inspired me to design my own. When I design something like this, it helps me gain a better understanding of how things work. I wasn't completely sure about where the hole position should be. All I knew is that the triangle hole pattern would work. Opening CAD, I start making parts. First, a hexagon. Then I put a hole in each corner. Realizing that I also need a post for springs, or in my case, rubber bands, I replaced one of the holes with a post that the rubber band can stretch over. I also discovered that the rods that make up the arms are all the same size. So really, we end up with 10 major parts of this arm. Well, 11 if you count the base. I also made some very simple twist locking pins that we will use to hold this all together. And that brings us to here. Clearly the base is not heavy enough to support the weight of this arm, so for now I will use a couple of 1-2-3 blocks to hold it down. As you can see, I don't have a hand or anything to connect to this arm. I'm not really sure where I should go from here, or what to do with this. I put the files up on printables. I figured maybe you guys can find this useful for something and share your ideas with me. Anyways, thanks for joining me on this build, and I look forward to reading your comments.